Hi, this is Jeff Davis, and I'm here today with you at uh, our lab at uh, Crocus Technology. I want to show you some new technology that we've developed, uh, how to do contactless current sensing with a monolithic device. What we're going to do is we have a little demo board here, and uh, this demo board has a couple of current traces that go across it uh, on the back side of the board, right there. And then we mount our devices on top. You see four devices here. This is set up in a Wheatstone bridge uh, arrangement. And then we've got a little bit of uh, amplification and uh, some filtering on the back end. So what we're going to do here in just a second, I'm going to shut this off for a minute. We'll hook up the board and then we'll look at some signals and see how she runs. Okay, <clears throat> we're all all set up in the lab. And what you see here is our board. And we have a unit to power it with. We've got a Variac that feeds into a step-down transformer which drops the line voltage down to two volts because uh, if we didn't do that we'd be pushing about two kilowatts of power when we got to 20 amps. Our board, the current comes in through one trace, reverses and come back through the, comes back through the other trace. And I've got an inexpensive little USB um, oscilloscope to display the results on my PC. So right now I've got the system powered up. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is we'll show you uh, how sensitive this device is at some low currents. Uh, right now we have the output uh, of the uh, Wheatstone bridge, or the bridge circuit, full bridge circuit, uh, going through an op amp and a low pass filter um, so that we, as we deal with these low currents, you can uh, eliminate uh, the noise. So let's just start by starting at about uh, 180 milliamps and we'll crank it up. Right now we're at uh, about seven tenths of an amp. You can see a nice response there. And as you get up to say an amp and a half, again you still see a, a very nice clean uh, responsive output from the sensors going through uh, some amplification and some filtering. Now I'll change this up just a little bit and we'll show you high current. Okay, we're back again. What I've done now is I have changed the scope output or in, uh, scope to be reading the unamplified output from one half of the bridge with no filtering, no amplification. And so you can see that the signal is quite a bit noisier, but still very uh, readable and uh, something you can work with. So now let's go ahead and take this thing all the way up to 20 amps. Adjust the uh, Variac. And as you can see, I'm now increasing my current and right about here we're now at 5 amps. Let's change the scale. So there's 5 amps. Let's go to 10. And there's about 10. And now we'll go all the way to 20. And there we are at 20 amps. So again, from about 100 milliamps all the way up to 20 amps, we still haven't exceeded the dynamic, dynamic range of the device. We get a nice clean signal out, and it's a new novel way to do contactless sensing with solid state devices. Thanks for watching.